Now there is one thing to take note of with dictionaries. If we're thinking about our inventory, uh, you know, if I have inventory, we can use sort of the square brackets and our key. So we could check in on all of our health potions this way. Health, I'll just call them health pots. So we can use that method, but if there is no uh, entry for health pots, uh, or rather, you know, we're, uh, we're in a uh, shoot 'em up video game without magic. So if I attempted to uh, look up my magic potions, well, there's no magic in this world, so I would get an error. And so one of the things that we can use instead is we can actually use a function of our di dictionary called get. Now, the entire idea to get is that if we were to uh, sort of do something like uh, inventory dot get the magic scroll, it's still going to give us our value. It's no different than if we use the square brackets. But once again, it allows us to uh, handle when there are no values uh, for a particular entry. So we have health potions, we have magic scrolls. Um, I'm switching up my uh, analogies, but let's say, for example, I don't have any ammo because we're in a magic world now, but not a shoot 'em up. Well, if I attempt to do just to show it, inventory ammo. I'm going to get an error because there is no ammo entry. But this is where got dot get can sort of mitigate that issue. So instead, inventory dot get. Oh, well, it didn't crash. And as you can see, sort of going on there. Oh, perfectly fine. One thing that the dot get also allows for is some form of a default can't find it response. So let's say, for example, oh, well, you know, it's one of those weird magic shooting game things. Uh, and I want to see, you know, uh, I need to check ammo, but I may not have an entry for it. Well, I can say, here's the key. And if that key ha it doesn't exist, just give me this value. In our case, zero. Zero. But once again, if I came in, and said, oh, well, give me health potions. Again, I have an entry for health potions, so this will get ignored, and I will get my three. And there are a number of other functions that we can deal with with our, uh, our dictionary, just like the slide showed. So I can come in with something like uh, im.keys, and that's going to give me a list of all the known keys. And this is pretty important if for some uh, reason I want to traverse my dictionary. Because, as you can see, yeah, it's currently got some weird stuff to this. But we can convert that dictionary list of keys into an actual list using our data casting uh, approaches. So in this case, change that into a list, and now we have those keys as a list.